so that's how my day starts or kind of starts it's like the second start I get up in the morning little guy my wife sleep a little bit longer uh, we we play we eat we do stuff I work a little bit while he takes his first nap and as soon as he gets up we go for a longer than 10 minute walk it's exciting usually walk about a mile with the little guy it's like a weighted vest all right hey we're back from our walk went about let's see how far we went oh. a mile plus nice 20 minute walk um kind of doing these just to show a little bit of what goes into being a dad uh running my own business that's semi-successful life after competing in strongman and uh, kind of the thoughts on it different things i like to do and just my life uh one of the things i want to touch on today and a question i got yesterday was dealing with low back pain and i guess just injuries in general and how you know you're going along and it's so much fun to just lift heavy go in hit a couple singles etc uh, then when you get an injury or something you kind of have to figure it all out and go back to step one and it's not that fun but the thing about it is is that uh, improving and having uh, training add to your life isn't always about doing what's fun doing what's fun sometimes got you into the point where you are in the first place so before you worry about how much your lifts have regressed etc you have to go all the way back see what caused it and treat those issues you have to you know I'm dealing with an SI joint problem and I'm saying this because I know it because this is a problem I had at my last major competition at the Arnold uh, uh, World Championship in 2014 and it's came and gone I've dealt with it I've gotten better I've gotten deadlifting back up and you know five mid fives done this you know log pressing mid 200s again doing you know and going and then I do one thing and it's all messed up again so I and then I <laughs> I re-injured it doing stiff leg deadlifts with literally 135 pounds the other day so there's something I need to address so I'm telling you this basically talking to myself and you go all the way back uh, figure out how to fix that don't do certain movements don't force myself to do movements that my body's telling me not to do hinge movements with a barbell in front of me just don't work I can load trap bars farmers walk walk with 200 something pounds just fine hinge movements aren't working I need to give myself the time to address those those issues and actually fix them so that training's fun again because you know what's not fun being in pain I mean I competed in pain for a long time it was part of the culture honestly in strongman and right now I just feel like I have uh, more to live for than when I was 24 and angry at the world and it's fun it's okay to lift in pain when you're 24 and angry at the world and you you know now that I have a little guy and all these other responsibilities clients that depend on me it just really affects too much I'm falling asleep um, you know to be in pain it's just not worth it anymore I just got tired of living like that uh, so my what really helps doing more general activity walking keeping my diet in check uh, doing I, I need to fix my mobility that's clear and some of the stretches trying to stretch out my glutes I had a huge glute problem for a long time uh, where it just was impinged and you know if your glutes aren't gonna fire you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna mess them up in your back deadlifting or etc and that, that's basically where I'm at and I'm gonna you know go through show you some of the boring stuff trying to fix that uh, trying to get myself in a nice balance of doing strongman but for health it's it's the culture of it is that it's so unhealthy and so dangerous to lift and of course yeah if you're doing 1200 you know 500 kilo yokes um, you know and huge weights there's gonna be more risk but I think it you know I think generally just moving with weight is super healthy and when taken to an extreme uh, you know it anything taken to an extreme or into a sport kind of tips that health uh, to sport ratio and I want to just try to get into doing some strongman stuff but for health so I'm gonna go through that do a bunch of that um, remember before you worry you have to earn the right to load a movement you have to have the right movement patterns 
it's going to bite you in the ass eventually if you have shit form if you don't know how to do the you know certain lifts the correct way if your body your body will compromise to try to do something you know this leg's going to take more of the load your low back you know it's going to take more of the load because it can take it because your glutes won't fire because you didn't get yourself in the right position to deadlift that's just what's going to happen i'm telling you this from experience i lifted that like that for a long time i didn't listen to people and i'm paying for it i probably could be competing still at a high level if i just took a little bit of time off so learn from my mistakes i'm going to try to you know, tr and we need to change the culture in strongman that you're supposed to be in pain. You're not supposed to be in pain. Life is way too short to live in pain. So, Kale Beck, Sterling Beck, and uh, we just went for a 20 minute walk, about to get her to eat some lunch. He's gonna eat some lunch and uh, go out and lift some things, not in pain. And do the boring stuff. Do your prehab work, do your stretches, do all that stuff to make yourself feel better. That is the face of a domino who didn't get to come. Don't worry, domino. We're pretty close to everyone being able to go on a W, because we can't say the word at the same time. Tyson liked to come too. Sterling got to go, because Sterling always gets to go. He's number one. Sorry, domino. Soon, your life will be back to how you, how you knew it.